Hi folks, John the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in. Out here in my backwoods playground, doing a little bit of barbecuing, and I thought it was just the perfect place to showcase this new EDC fixed blade knife from Nordsmith. Now, if you're familiar with the channel, you know that about a year, year and a half ago, I did a video review on the Nordsmith Pilgrim. An awesome knife. I gave that rave reviews, just fit, finish, feel. I'll leave links in the video description below. David Anderson, the owner, operator, knife designer over at Nordsmith, has come out with a new fixed blade EDC design called the Skipjack. And today, we're gonna showcase it here on the channel. But first, we're gonna cut away. We're gonna do a little bit of specs rundown, some food prep, and then we'll come on back and we'll give you some thoughts on this EDC fixed blade. Folks, food, woods, knives, it don't get any better than this. It starts now.
Now for some final thoughts on the Skipjack from Nordsmith Knife. First off, I really like this knife. It has a flat grind. It is a drop point design and it's just a hair over six inches long. Now the cutting edge on this is about 2.6 inches long. And then from tip to where the handles start is about three inches long. But what I really love about this knife is the handles. The Micarta handles with the liners that just pop, but even more than that, the feel. When you put that knife in the palm of your hand, David just has good ergonomics on this blade. Just beautiful. And I've been carving around, whittling, and doing food prep with this for a couple weeks now. And you can really tell about a knife after probably about 20 minutes of carving. I've had no problem with this knife at all. Now, folks out there are gonna ask me, does it have a 90 degree spine? And yes, it does. So if you're in the camp where you love 90 degree spines on your knives, well, Nordsmith has hooked you up. Just awesome sharp knife. Now let's talk about steel. A-E-B-L, stainless steel. That's a mouthful, I know. Nordsmith also used this on their Pilgrim that I tested. And I've been using the Pilgrim on and off now ever since I did that review. And I must say the edge retention on this steel, they got the heat treat just perfect. And that stainless steel is probably the perfect combo for this blade. The edge retention has just stayed just razor sharp for a very long time. And it's not a lot of work to dress that blade again, just a little bit of work on a strop and then I'm good to go all over again. So good call on that stainless steel. It just sharpens up and holds an edge for a very long time. I really like this blade. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, I'm gonna talk about the sheath for a second because I think this is a huge part of this knife. And if you're gonna be carrying it as an EDC and public service announcement, you need to check your state, your county, and your local laws in regards to putting a fixed blade knife in your pocket. In some places, it can be considered a... Um, concealed weapon so it's your responsibility to know with that said I love this sheath JRE Industries they are the cat's meow in making leather sheaths and David went to them and head shedded and asked if they could put a pocket clip on there and they were able to do that and look at the workmanship the stitching on this and the beautiful thing about that is the more you use it, the more this leather gets warm in your pocket, it's just gonna wear in and it's just gonna mold right around this knife, perfect. It just fits in there deep well. And it fit in my pocket really well. Uh, it didn't feel any different than me carrying a folding knife in my pocket. So hats off to Jerry Industries and Nordsmith Knives for just coming up with a great combo. I can't say enough good things about this knife. Now, also, like I said on the Pilgrim, and I'll say it on this, the lanyard hole. I love that David designed a knife with a lanyard hole big enough to put cordage through. A lot of knives this small have a very tiny lanyard uh, hole in the handle, and I don't know what type of cordage Designers think that they're going to be able to get through that. But this one, I like using leather um, shoe laces. And you could guide a leather shoe lace through there real easy. Cut it short. Something to put your pinky in. I have a video on knife lanyards as well that my uh, buddy Jaime did for me. And I'll leave that in the video description below if you want to get an idea of how to do like a pinky lanyard on this knife that just makes the capabilities of this blade just go off the chart. So, fit, finish, feel. 
beautiful looking blade. I think David hit the ball out of the park with this. Now you guys know how I rate everything on the channel. One star, it's a dumper, it's going to the boneyard. Five stars, it's a grand slam. The design is outstanding. Five stars, grand slam, hit it out of the park, baby. If you want to learn more about this knife, I'll leave links in the video description below. Folks, this is John with the Wingman 115 channel. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, folks.